This is the Hoff Time Report with Idaho Freedom Foundation President Wayne Hoffman, one of Idaho's most respected, influential public policy voices. It's time once again for our status of the week. Who wins the prize for believing that government that governs best is the one that governs a lot? <laughs> well, we have a whole list this time. It's the people whose names you see are in green. Why? Because they're the ones who voted in support of a bill to continue funding for Idaho public television, or as I like to call it, the government television. For as long as I can remember, people have questioned why is the government in the television business? And over the years, there have been multiple attempts to defund government television at the congressional level, but who really expects Congress to do anything about cover government television? I know I don't. The simple fact of the matter is the state of Idaho has a television system and the state legislature has the power of the purse when it comes to that television system's operations. As Representative Ron Nate of Rexburg pointed out during the debate on Idaho Public Television's budget, there's not a law that requires the state operate a TV system. We just do it. Government should not be in the TV business, and especially in the 21st century, it's really unnecessary if it was ever necessary. By funding government television, our own government has its own news program and a reporter who covers the legislature and tweets on social media with her own lefty view of the world using public money to do so. That's not all. Our education policy analyst, Anna Miller, noted that Idaho Public Television has an entire channel just for kids. And on that channel, parents are told that babies are racist. Teachers are told to be look on, out on the lookout for microaggressions and that gender is subjective. This is on Idaho Public Television. To her credit, Representative Priscilla Giddings of Whitebird told her colleagues that voting down the budget for public television would not mean the end of public television necessarily. Instead, it would mean the legislature's budget committee could go back and do the work in writing another budget, maybe one that takes out all the state taxpayer support for IPTV. You do realize that we as taxpayers pay for programming, the ones that I just described, but by just one vote, by one vote, the House representatives voted to keep things the way they are because we like Big Bird and Clifford the Big Red Dog and we don't care how cartoons are being used to teach our kids lefty ideas. So take another look at the list of names in green because these people, every last one of them, they've won. They're our status of the week. Congratulations to the 34 people on this list. Who should be next week's status or status of the week? Send me an email, wayne at idahofreedom.org and let me know. Until next time, thanks for watching. You've been listening to the Hoff Time Report with Wayne Hoffman. Be sure to visit idahofreedom.org for Wayne's articles, IFF research, and show notes from today's episode. 